In this video, I'm going to be soldering together the tiny dice. And to do that, I need LEDs, resistors, a capacitor, an ATtiny 13A, a button, a coin cell holder, and a coin cell. So I'm going to start with the LEDs. And I start with the LEDs by opening this up, which is sometimes a little difficult. And so I just slide my tweezers in between the plastic. Peel this open a little bit. Take my solder. And then apply a small quantity to one side of each pad pair. I check the LEDs. In this case, there's a small T on each one. And I make sure the T is pointing down. If you get all of these upside down, it won't really matter because Basically, what would be displayed on this dice will then be displayed on this dice and vice versa. In the end, when you're playing a game, really doesn't matter. But it's designed so that they all go facing down. So then I hold the LED and I remelt the solder and I check that I have a good connection by trying to pick up the LED with the tweezers. So. This one needs a little bit more solder. So now I'm just soldering the other side of all the LEDs. Okay, now I'm gonna check all of them. So this one is tombstoning a little bit. I don't know if you can see it, but it's laying kind of like this on the board. So I'm going to try to fix that. I'm actually going to remove it and redo it. So then I'm going to try and remove as much solder from these pads as possible. I'm going to add a little bit here, get a new LED. And then solder the other side. And I just look at them. And these two are also sort of sticking up. So I'm going to push this. I'm going to solder this side and push it down. Solder this side and push it down. And this only works because there's not a good connection on this lower part. 
If they're both soldered but it's sticking up, you have to unsolder it. Okay, that seems like it'll work. Then I flip it over and I solder the resistors. And these work just like the LEDs, only resistors don't have a correct direction or a correct side that needs to be up. They just need to connect both sides. Then I just solder the other side. And then the next thing is the capacitor. Then the other side of the capacitor. Okay. And now it's time to do the battery. To do the battery, I just take some solder and I stick it in the middle of this pad and that makes the connection better for the battery. And then I add some solder to this side. Or to one side, it doesn't matter. You can do that side or that side. And then I check the direction of this. And it's important to use tweezers at this point because the metal on the battery holder gets very hot. So I carefully place this where it needs to go. And this is really the hardest part for me. And then I just hold it and melt that solder. And then I check the other side to make sure that these metal pieces and this pad are connected or are touching. And then I add solder to the other side if I like the location. Otherwise I need to move it to make sure that both sides are connected and well soldered. And then I'm going to add more over here to make sure it's a good connection. And again, this thing has a large thermal mass and there's also a large ground plane and a large, you know, basically the large ground plane, large um, power plane. So it just, takes a lot of energy, so it gets quite hot. So this is just me um, making sure it has a really good connection. Okay, then I flip it over and I place the AT Tiny and if you look very carefully at the AT Tiny, there's a small notch on this side where the triangle is. And I know that that goes with this pin. So I add a little bit of solder here. Pick up the Tiny and carefully reflow that solder. And then I check that all the pins are lining up with all of these metal spots and they are. So that is on there and aligned. So I'm going to go do the other pins. Okay. 
and I'm starting with the outer pin so that it's got a good connection. Now I'm just touching them up to make sure it's a good contact. And I'm gonna look at it. And these two middle ones seem like they need more solder. So that looks better. And now I add the button. Okay. So now it's stuck on there and all the pins are touching the pads. So I can go ahead and solder the other pins. Okay, and now I'm just going to check that everything's soldered correctly and wait for it to cool for a minute the battery holder is still quite warm before I stick the battery in. So now that it's cold or cool, I'm going to go ahead and stick the battery in and it's important to make sure that the positive side on this battery matches the positive side on this battery. So I stick it in and it works. It's a bit hard to see in the video. We'll turn out the lights and we have a functional pair of dice. So that's all you have to do to solder this together, and I hope you enjoyed watching. Have a good day. Bye.